everybody welcome back ruben with texas all water fishing you know this time of the year we it's warmer time of the year i like to go to the surf a lot i like to sh chase uh, a lot of the speckled trout you know sometimes we'll get lucky and we'll get some spanish mackerel and maybe even some jacks but uh, this time of year not only do i wade fish but i also fish a lot of the rock groins around along the seawall a lot of the jetty rocks and well Honestly, I, I fell the other day. Uh, I did a quick bounce up and I didn't hurt myself, but I also saw a few of my other friends fall recently and I fell last year and the year before probably. But anyway, we're not going to talk about how clumsy I am. What I do want to talk about is a solution that I have been thinking about for some time. And well, this year I decided to pull the trigger and I picked a product up that's going to help me prevent myself from from falling and, and hurting myself but really from hurting my pride and making making myself look like a fool all right if you haven't joined patreon don't forget we do have a patreon membership going on that link is in the description section below join today and i'm gonna send you a couple decal stickers just showing my appreciation thank you very much and i'm gonna shoot you out a sticker all the descriptions or most of everything i'm talking about stuff that i'm using and filming with now right really nice mic are in the description section of this video there's links and stuff down there some of that stuff may be affiliated it may not be and uh and also some of my sponsorships are, are down there as well so check out those guys and don't forget support those that support me and support this channel and like all you guys i support you guys too i really do if you haven't subscribe to the channel yet we're going to take a moment and allow you to do that and also like this video i know it's kind of early in the video and you're like man i'm not even too sure if i'm gonna like this video at all i probably don't like it already i'm anyway i'm gonna give you a few minutes a few seconds a moment of silence for you to uh go and take care of that now all right moving on so one of the things that looking at and 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 looking on YouTube, uh, because I'm a consumer too, I watch YouTube videos, looking on YouTube, looking on Amazon, trying to find a solution that can help me stay firmly footed to the ground. I came across some cleats, some ice cleats. One of the style is an overshoe kind of ice cleat and well, they look kind of cheap. They look inexpensive. They look cheap. Well, they are inexpensive, but they look like something that's going to break after a few times. The other solution that I found was boots, but I I think I'd probably look pretty funny wearing boots, especially with like swim trunks. Although the overshoe cleat is more my style because I like to wear different kind of shoes out there. And then I could just pull them off if I'm going to walk into a restaurant for lunch or if I'm going to walk into Academy or what have you. Just something I could quickly take on and off. So I was looking for that style uh, more over than just a boot. Not that there's anything wrong with the boots. I'm sure they're they they they're, they're, um, do a fantastic job. But what pretty much what a cleat is, if you're not too familiar with it or stud, a lot of these are used for ice, ice they're used for rocks, but they're just um, you know metal cleats. I know people wear baseball cleats or, or metal spikes with golf cleats out there too, but they're just uh, spikes or metal material studs. kind of look like screws that they, they, they grab onto the rock a little better and they don't allow you to slip prevent you from slipping and falling well i did come across uh one item one product we're gonna switch right here to the pc and i'm gonna show you real fast what this is and what i'm talking about we're gonna click on there it is and it is by croakers croakers crochers anyway it's by that company and it's a rock cleat one of the reasons why I did select it, like I said before, is just because it looks like it's going to be a lot more meatier. It looks like the straps, the, uh, well, you know what? I have them right here. So, this strap is similar to like a backpack strap that you have a lot of bags and backpacks. It's pretty thick. Uh, I don't know the exact di dynamiter of it. It also has a nice, healthy buckle. Yeah, right? Yeah. The cleat itself, it's 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 pretty big, it's pretty bulky, uh, nice sole to it, and it's one piece. So, and here are all the studs. I believe there is 14 studs on each cleat, and then there's also on each, I guess this whole thing's kind of called a cleat. But there's 14 studs on here, and then there's 12 additional holes where you can go and, and buy some more. But, you know, this is 80 bucks uh has nice big straps to it 
where it attaches is nice and thick. It doesn't look like it's going to rip and tear over time and, and using it. Well, I, I did go out. I didn't fish with it. The water conditions, the, the water was dirty, the swells were big, there was still a lot of wind, so we're still experiencing some of that wind out there in the Gulf that we've been experiencing lately. So, But I didn't want to go out. I wanted to go out and test it out, and I called my buddy Eric and recruited Eric to getting out there with me, and uh, well, it was pretty funny. Excuse the wind noise, because I am filming with my, I did just take my, my phone out there, so um, Eric was, was recording me trying not to get wet and and i was really trying hard not to get my my feet soaked but yeah here's here's that clip from that day this is gonna be on the new three <laughs> why'd you stop <laughs> oh shit Oh, that's the slippery stuff. That uh, boy doing the twist. I slip right now. Did you? Yep. Well, after braving those crazy waters, I uh, I wanted to get a little closer down to the rocks where the water was rushing up because I was really trying to push this this product. I was really trying to push it as far as as I could to see if uh, if I was indeed slip or not. I was actually pretty nervous though. I was real stepping real gingerly but i went down and got further into the water and see if i could uh if i could get wet or if i could stay upright i will not recommend anybody doing this at home do not try this uh whether you're at home or on the rocks don't do what i'm doing i'm just doing it just for the product test just for testing this product now if these clinks work everybody should buy a pair because i promise my boy ain't got no balance <laughs> so, we ain't got to worry about if it's slippery or not. We just hope he don't fall. Butter? Fine. Oh, yeah, if you ain't slip right there on that slope. What up? Yeah, he wants you to come up. He wants you to come up. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know, we were interrupted by a lifeguard out there trying to save a life. What the heck? Yeah, he blew his whistle. He waved us out of there. He said, hey, dummies, get away from there. You're going to fall. You're going to break your neck on those rocks. They're very slippery. There's a rip current. What are you thinking? You're going to make me have to do something besides sit up here and look pretty. And, uh, um, well, it was a male lifeguard. I wouldn't say he was looking pretty. But anyway, uh, I wasn't done. I wasn't done testing him. I wanted to go on the east end. I wanted to find some of that really green rock. So where it has that algae, they're real slick. If you've ever been out fishing on the rock groins and you know exactly, or the jetty rocks, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They're, they're real slick. I wanted to find some. So Eric and I jumped in the truck and we ran to the east end uh, away from prying eyes away from a lifeguard that's trying to save our life but uh we ran down there and uh see to see if we could find some ah my toes got wet oh you're supposed to be looking out fun player i was not looking down thanks eric I'm my foot is completely drenched now. I see it happen too. Yeah, you seen it happen. You just watch it happen. You didn't just see it happen. No, you watch it happen. Look at this guy. This guy right here. My reaction terrible. time is slow. He's a terrible person. He like watch Ruben Finner get hit by that wave. That's what you thought, huh? All right, so after testing out these cleats, um, I'm pretty confident that they're going to do the job. They're going to keep me upright, keep me from slipping, especially when I'm down there trying to land the fish or trying to net the fish, try to get the fish out of the water and and trying to and because that's really that's where you lose a lot of your fish is when you're trying to land it and especially out there in the rocks, you're trying to hoist that that speckle trout with the thin mouth and it's going to come loose and you're really it's anyway but yeah uh 
I wanted that for I wanted those cleats for that as well so I can get closer down in there and landing the fish just for the limited time that I use them I recommend them for anybody that's looking for a pair and there's a link down in the description section for them and don't forget you know if you haven't subscribed to the channel or liked or made a comment yet then feel free to it doesn't cost you anything it is a free service that as a youtuber I provide for you <laughs> Don't forget to join Patreon. Become a Patreon today. If you're interested in behind the scene clips, maybe some put in some launches. Maybe you just want to see what I have going on during the week behind the scenes off the beat stuff that I am doing or going out or you want um, fishing forecast. I, I put all that stuff on there. I actually post more on Patreon than I do anywhere else. Just opening that line of communication, that one on one with you. Or if you're just simply trying to help your learning curve and learn the area or different techniques and, and stuff like that, I also we also do that and provide that stuff on there as well. I say we, but it's really just me. There's no, there's no nobody else here, so we is me. Thanks again. Hopefully next time you catch me hooking up. Thanks. <laughs>